Ahoy there, mateys, and welcome to another episode of MacMost Now. Well, in the past, I've told you about ways to take movies from your DVD collection and store them on your laptop or iPod or iPhone so you can watch them, say, on an airplane trip. Well, there's a new piece of software that does this in an even better way, and it's called Drive-In. And Drive-In's a cool piece of Mac software that you insert a DVD into your computer and you can go ahead and make a copy of that DVD on your hard drive that behaves pretty much just like you had the DVD in the drive. Not only that, but when you use Drive-In, you have the ability to import in all sorts of information about the DVD. So not only do you have all the contents of the DVD, but you also have all of the information that you can see on the box of the DVD. And then you can store it in a library of DVDs, so you can take several with you and store them for later use. So the advantages of Drive-In are, number one, it takes the entire DVD. So that's all the extra features, all the extra audio tracks, everything. It's just like having the DVD in the drive. And the quality, of course, is just as good as the DVD. Another advantage is speed. It actually doesn't take very long. It only took about 15, 20 minutes to copy a DVD to my drive. When you actually rip a DVD using something like Handbrake, it could take hours to do the same thing and it's just not possible when you want to do it just before you leave for the airport. And the third advantage is, is it's kind of more legal. You see, when you rip a DVD to a file, you're actually decrypting the encryption code on there, which is illegal according to the Digital Millennium Copyright Act, if you care about that. But Drive-In is not decrypting anything, just making a straight copy of the DVD, and it's kind of keeping it safe so there's no piracy. So if you're concerned about the legalities, drive-in is a better option for you, although whether it's a completely fail-safe legal option, well, that's something for the lawyers and the courts to decide. Now, the disadvantages of drive-in are that, number one, it's not free. Number two, it can't be used to put movies on your iPod or iPhone. It only works on the drive of a MacBook, MacBook Pro. So if you travel a lot, and particularly if you watch DVDs on your MacBook while you travel, I think this software now is a must-have. You can get it from flip4mac.com, and it costs $39 for a single license. Hey, if you happen to be going to Blog World Expo this weekend, say hi. I'll be talking on a panel there, and I'll be all over the place. And also, remember to tell your friends about MacMost Now. I'm trying to boost the rankings of MacMost Now at iTunes, so I'd appreciate it if you send them to macmostnow.com slash itunes.html. And happy Talk Like a Pirate Day to all you lily-livered bilge rats.